Hey Collective, it's your girl Spirit of Sag. Let's see what message of Spirit has for you guys today. On this beautiful Sunday. On this beautiful Sunday. Spirit, what messages do you have for my collective? Okay, so you have the Six of Cups with the Four of Wands. Huh. Okay. Uh, with justice. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra. This could, you know what I'm thinking? This is someone's thoughts. This person could be in this Six of Cups energy. There could be a relationship or marriage here with Justice and Four of Wands. But the Six of Cups is real nostalgic. You know, but it, it's it's kind of like sweet memories when you think of the Six of Cups. Okay, with this Justice and Four of Wands and the Hierophant. This is definitely a relationship. Definitely a relationship. With the Ace of Wands at the bottom. Okay, so we have the Two of Swords here. You don't, they don't want it. Somebody doesn't want this. What? Because this is beautiful. I knew it, Ten of Swords. Somebody don't want this. It's beautiful energy. So for some of you guys, you could be in a marriage that you just like, uh-uh, I want to get out of it. Or relationship. Because Hierophant and Four of Wands with Justice is a marriage. Spirit, what's the Ten of Swords? Could just be an ending, but normally the Ten of Swords is betrayal. So some of y'all could be dealing with an Aquarius. Page of Cups. And the Page of Wands. All right, so uh, this person... Someone came in with an apology because someone heard some news. Page of Wands that was a Ten of Swords. So you're in this marriage or you're in this relationship, possibly got gotten cheated on with the Ace of Wands here, and you allowed this person to come back in and apologize, and you accepted this person back. I see uh, these other cards, so I'm going to grab them. What's brewing? Caution just showed itself and setting the record straight. Okay, Spirit, what is, why is this message coming in here today? What's going on for the collective? Yeah, sexual protection. Destroyed. Destroyed here. I'm telling you, somebody got cheated on. And it destroyed what? Because this is beautiful. Hierophant, all of these are in the upright. Hierophant, four ones with the justice and this sweet six of cups energy. That's beautiful energy. Okay, but then you have this delayed energy here. So I'm telling you now, and look, on this deck, this is what I see, release your ex. So whether this is you or someone else, you're in this marriage and either you cheated or somebody cheated. Could have been an Aquarius or a Libra. Somebody cheated and they apologized. But the way you found out, that's what I'm getting. The way you found this news out, that shit hurt you. And now you ready for new love. Oh, child, listen to me. Congratulations. Congratulations, whoever you are, because here's the thing. This Ten of Swords, with, this is not a one and done. This is something that's been happening over time. And you have always allowed this person to come in and apologize and try to heal it, to keep this together. Whoever you are, um, you're ready for a new beginning. This Ace of Wands, you're ready for a new beginning. Something was, there's no turn, like you can't come back from it. You can't come back from it. And you know, a lot of times when you're getting hurt, it's like the more you hurt me, the less that I cry. That's what I'm getting here. It, does, it doesn't even hurt anymore. And I feel like this person may have had you in the energy of, because when people cheat on us, we don't ever look at that person. We we always look at ourselves like, well, what am I doing wrong? Is there something wrong with me? And I feel like you was going through that for a while. And in this, this person just kept doing the same old thing, cheating on you with other people. And um, I feel like somewhere in that you you started healing and you became authentic. And there there's a new person that you are attracted to. Yeah, because wherever you at, it's unrequited. It's unrequited as fuck. And I really feel like you're about to release this person. And with this getting to know somebody, 
This could have been a friend, but you want more with this friend. Uh, it says a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Hmm. And you're very attracted to whoever this person is. So here's the thing. Whoever was uh, cheating and betraying you, that person's in for a rude awakening. Because normally they, you know, they would come in with this sweet page of cups, apologizing for all of the betrayal, and you would always find a way to heal it with the star card. I feel like you have started to pull, like you're not even having sex with this person at all. And they destroyed you. This person broke you all the way down. The card says shattered, broken, fucked up. They broke you all the way down over the years. Because the Six of Cups is here. This is something that you've been dealing with for a while. This person broke you all the way down. But in a sense, it, it healed you some kind of way. You found your strength to heal. And there's someone else that you are uh, attracted to. So let's get some Motero on it. Okay, so now you got this King of Wands. That's Leo energy. Somebody's taking action towards a new love. Okay, what's this spirit? Yeah. Six of Pentacles. Even though this was a solid commitment, this person always, they were breadcrumbing you. I'm telling you, it's like this person would just give you just enough to keep you hanging on. And then they would go out there and they would cheat or whatever this Ten of Swords is. I'm really picking up cheating. And you would always allow this person to come back. Some of you guys are dealing with a Pisces, the way this fish coming up out. Uh, somebody could have even got pregnant. This person could have got pregnant. That could be the destroyed. Some of y'all could be dealing with a cancer, but I, I'm telling you, you're moving on here. So there could be a cancer that is stressed. Like, what the fuck? Well, somebody is stressed about you moving on. Because what they were able to do in the past, go out there, hurt you, and cheat, and keep you in this low vibrational energy, keep you codependent and scared to move on. So you were basically settling for this person because it was already unrequited. You were settling for it. Um, and they were able to always come back in, apologize, and you would try to make it work somehow because you were never looking at that person. You were always judging yourself. Like, well, it's got to be something wrong with me. Why this person always breadcrumbing me? Why am I always the one putting in 100% of work and I always ended up in the Ten of Swords? I feel like you done healed from that. And I don't know whoever this new love is. I feel like this person gave you the strength and the courage to even want to heal. Because you saw what you could have with this person. Yeah. So let's look at that energy. This new love. Because baby. <laughs> something going on spirit what's the new love i'm telling you you're secretly in love with somebody with the nine of cups you see that person is complete wish fulfillment wow so it was like when this person did this because i feel like you're in a connection with somebody who always wants power and that was their way to continue to control you hurting you I don't know who y'all dealing with, but that's how they would continue to control you. Breadcrumb you, give you just enough to keep you hanging on the string. And I feel like whoever this friend is or was, you want more with that person. But I don't feel like it's somebody that it got off. Yeah, lovers is here, baby. It's here. I don't feel like that got off the ground. I really do feel like this was a, a friend or just someone that you met. Um... I don't feel, because I saw the two of swords, so I don't feel like that really went anywhere. For some of you, you could have been physical with that person, but for a lot of you, it didn't build into a full relationship because you were already going through this right here. Um, But you never let go of this person with the moon. You never let go of this new love, or the potential of it. And I feel like you would, this last time this person came in and did this, because I'm telling you, this is someone who does it to keep control of the situation. They feel like if they can keep you hanging on, keep you here, then they're in control. And you're never going to go anywhere. You're never going to get your strength to step out and do anything else. But allow them to do what they're doing. Mm -mm. You were secretly holding on to something that helped you heal yourself with the star card here. Yeah, magician. You manifesting like a mother. You know, and that, that's what happens a lot, okay? So we got the Queen of Pentacles. It kept wanting to come out there in the reverse. So this could be the person that you were married to, but this is what you're wanting because we saw that unrequited. All right, this person could be money-driven, 
real material focused. This person could have even had the money and try to control you with their finances. And the, all the while they out there cheating. Mm, yeah, you, you getting the hell on because this is what you want. And this, this new love. Where did you meet this person, spirit? Let's pull another deck out because I really want to focus on this the new love versus this old shit because this is destroyed. It's done. This is the tower. That old stuff is done done. So there's a marriage or relationship. It's over. 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 So the lovers here, you have a choice. You're really attracted to this new love. And it says getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves. The bond deepens. We saw the moon with the nine of cups. Because someone is like, the moon to me is having deep emotions for someone. So you have the moon with the nine of cups. You see this person as complete wish fulfillment. And this is where you're moving moving on to some of you guys could be going toward a cancer okay so let's see spirit let's talk about this new person all right so you have the high priestess with the nine of swords okay so you are because you have never revealed yourself high priestess with the moon you may be stressing does this person feel the same could you guys build something some of you guys could be stressing because when you had the opportunity Maybe you didn't see this new person as this love when you were here. Or maybe you did, but you decided to allow this other energy to come back and apologize. Even though something was already destroyed, you let them come back and y'all tried to work it out. So I feel like you've been holding on to all of these emotions and you're stressing about, you know, will this person want to date you? Yep, and you're watching that person. I knew it. With the uh, Page of Swords. You're watching, trying to gather information because this, this person has a book. You're watching with the Page of Swords, trying to gather information about this new love. If they're seeing anyone, um, you could possibly, because it's going to be different for all of you, um, trying to check this person's temperature because we have the Wheel of Fortune here with the Four of Cups. So for some of you, and the Strength card, I knew it. I said somebody got up their strength while they were being sabotaged over here. And this new love, it's like you started looking in another direction. And you're starting to realize that this person's cheating on you has everything to do with them and nothing to do with you. Okay? And you're getting your strength out of it. So with this four of cups, some of you guys may have missed the opportunity with this new love. And it could have just been, yep, could have just been um, passion-based. Because the ace of wands is out here twice. All right, could have been passion based, but it never got anywhere because justice hired and someone was in a relationship. But they're wanting that to change with the will of fortune. So, like I said, they're watching this person wanting to build something solid, Ten of Pentacles, and they're being led to this person, Six of Swords, to offer the Ace of Pentacles, the Emperor. Okay, so this Emperor was in this relationship right here with somebody else, and they're being guided towards this new love, somebody that they had a lot of attraction for, okay? So, I don't know how y'all met this person. With the Ten of Pentacles here, you could have met amongst a lot of other people, like in a crowd or someone could have introduced you to this person, like a friend of yours could have introduced you to this new love. But let's see, this emperor know where they want to go. Six of Swords, Ace of Pentacles with the Emperor. This is someone being guided by their spirit guides to make this offer. But they are stressed because they kept to themselves how they really felt. So, collective, you could be the new love. Someone could be coming back because the Six of Cups is out here twice. Coming back from the past, it's going to be totally different than what it was previous. Because for a lot of you, it just was um, Ace of Wands. Just passion. Or you guys had a lot of flirty energy around each other but it never went anywhere it never went anywhere for those of you who i'm reading for today with the hangman yeah this never went anywhere okay so what else do we need to see about this new love spirit and this emperor yeah hierophant <clears throat> they were in a hierophant with this this is what they want with the new love a hierophant a relationship not a pentacles Yep, four ones. I'm trying to tell y'all with the damn fool and the empress. I knew that's what it was. But this person had to heal. This king of swords had to see the truth of it. All right? And it was illuminated. The sun. Because like I said, somebody was dealing with sabotage. And they were always blaming themselves. Right? So this four of swords is telling me that this emperor 
has healed from dealing with either a Libra, I saw Scorpio, I see Pisces, I see Cancer, uh, I see Aquarius, whoever the fuck it was that they were dealing with, they had to heal from that. And so now somebody sees the truth, Ace of Swords, I mean, King of Swords with the sun, it's been illuminated that this person was keeping them codependent and betraying them because that person was false. Yeah, they were in a relationship with a false person, a karmic. And so now, what did I say that destroyed was? It's the ending of a marriage or relationship or something. This house is the four ones. They were in a marriage with this person. That's the end of that shit right there. And they want the empress. I knew it, child. It just appeared, y'all, the emperor and the empress. It just appeared point blank. Okay, but see, and that's what this person is manifesting with the magician again. This is somebody who never revealed nothing to you. It never got anywhere. This King of Swords is coming to reveal something. Because the King of Swords gets the truth and they speak the damn truth. And, and like I said, they are a matter of fact. This emperor, they confident. They know what the fuck it is that they want. They confident as hell. Because a lot of things have been illuminated with the sun. And it's also with the moon and high priestess, somebody's about to illuminate their feelings. The card says, as you reveal your innermost selves, the bond deepens. So I feel like this is a mutual attraction, okay? But for a lot of you, you don't know how this person feels about you. They stress about it. 10 of freaking cups, 10 of freaking cups. With the damn, listen, with the fucking devil here, this is somebody who's kind of like obsessed. <laughs> I don't want to say, like, not in a bad way, but it's just, they were dealing with something for so long, they thought that was the way of it. That was it. This new love, this empress showed this person something totally different. So they're obsessed with having this ten of pentacles, ten of cups with you, collected. It just appeared. Okay? With the world and the tower, I'm telling you, it's this old way of life is done for this person. Yep, chariot. Someone's moving towards victory and success. Okay. For somebody made at a uh yeah, I knew it, dead in right there. I can't never make this shit up. Ace of Cups. What I said with the moon. Somebody had a lot of emotions. That moon nine of cups. They're about to reveal this to you, collecting. Wow. Queen of Swords, King of Swords. What else, spirit? Four of Pentacles with the Five of Cups. Whoever that Queen of Swords is, yeah, that's the person that was money hungry. That's what I'm getting with this. That Queen of Swords is that Queen of Pentacles. See how she holding her? She only looking at the coin. She holding her purse to her. She keep everything. It's all about this energy. Very selfish ass energy. This is the same person. Well, now that person is sad, in regret, because they had multiple opportunities. This emperor's been with this Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles for a while. The Six of Cups energy, that's a long time, okay? They had multiple opportunities to change. And the only thing this person did was continue to breadcrumb this energy and betray this energy. And it was something about, because with that page of ones, I was like, it's how you heard it. So, for some of you guys, let's see how this person heard about this last betrayal. Let me grab a new deck, a fresh deck. Spirit, how did this person hear about this? <clears throat> that destroyed it. Like, there's no coming back from it. The moon. So, it could have been a Pisces. Ace of Wands. Someone could have been having... A relationship with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Ten of Swords. That's what I'm clarifying. This Ten of Swords. All right. And the Three of Pentacles could have even been family. Get the fuck out of here. Somebody could have been sleep. Hold on, y'all. Somebody could have been sleeping with this person's family. So with the Wheel of Fortune, this person's chain and the and the world is done. It is so done with the Four of Swords. It's like. This card tells me that someone was healing even though they were surrounded by wolves. So this person's been healing every, while they've been in this connection. 
but it was the thoughts of you. This person would watch you with the page of swords. Maybe some of you guys are online and you leave little quotes or you are a teacher or something like that. This person's been watching you and gathering information and you have helped this person to ascend up out of this and heal themselves and start to look at themselves different, get their um, confidence back. Because someone was really, ten of swords out here twice, being betrayed by a spouse or a girlfriend, boyfriend, and they would always think it was their own fault. And no, like I said, now they're starting to realize, no, you're cheating on me because you have an issue, not me. Okay? Just period. So let me get y'all some messages because we got to go to a birthday party. Yeah, that's what it was. And they cutting that shit the fuck off. I listen, I love it, I love it, I love it. Past life issue. So they were dealing with that karmic, that false person. They are cutting the cords with that. For who? For their twin flame. For that damn twin flame. That, that emperor empress right there. So it just like that right there. Okay? The answer to your question involves a spiritually based romantic relationship. With the law of attraction. Okay? I told y'all that other energy kept them in that six of, of pentacles. Kept them codependent and kept them low vibrational. Once this person started loving on themselves and realizing, hey, this person is cheating and treating me this way because of them. You know, we have to realize that we deserve more. Once you realize that, you start attracting that more in. And I'm telling you, that was somebody been secretly watching fuck out your ass. And whatever it is that you're speaking, okay? But this book is really giving me some, some of you guys could be speaking knowledge, but it was giving this person, it's like light bulbs started going off in this person's mind. Like, wait a minute, I do deserve more than this. Okay. So somebody's going to come to you totally different than what they was. Yes, yes, yes. Fresh air is a brand new beginning. Shower of abundance because the ending of a marriage or this says wedding. So it's in the reverse. The ending of a, a, a marriage, a commitment with the folk. Okay, so that is what I have for y'all. It's your girl, Spiritual Sag. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. If y'all interested in my new channel, it's called Sag and Sun. Y'all can Google that and subscribe. We don't read tarot over there. We're going to be talking about some different type of issues, okay? Um, but that's what I have, so congratulations. But like I was getting earlier, I'm like, wait a minute, somebody healed. They were dealing with it for a long time, but they done healed from it. And so whoever that spouse was, they sick now. They can't control this person. That, that shit's done. And this is something. Four of Wands, higher for Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles. That's what this person want with this Empress. Wow. And for a lot of you, I just really feel like this connection didn't get off the ground. This is somebody who did not reveal to you how they truly felt. But it's coming in here now. Yeah, this connection just been on pause. Because this is somebody who had to get enlightened about what was really going on and who they really were and who they were with because they were really dealing with a past life issue, okay? The card says, this situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. That was that Six of Cups, okay? Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from the past experiences so they can cut the cords. Ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear. We saw the moon and the high priestess that stem from past re past relationships, freeing you from destructive patterns. That ten of swords, it just kept going back to it, kept going back to it. Like, come on, you got to realize you deserve more. So it's this new, it's the twin flame that's the new love, okay? So that's what I have for y'all. I love you guys till next time. Bye.